Hello and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to specifically talk about the restrictor plate right here. Now to get a better understanding of why Ford and International would put this here, we got to understand when they built the motor, the motor was extremely loud and so they wanted to keep the noise down so they built this restrictor plate knowing the fact that it's it's made to be air restrictive to dampen suction noise to limit the suction noise to bring the noise down uh, on the engine the problem in doing so is that this restrictor plate covers up the whole entire inlet of where the air is coming in here uh, and it is as high as the housing so when air comes into your air cleaner it's got no other way to go except hitting that basically uh, what it looks like an air dam and hits this restrictor plate and any residual air is forced to the right forced to the left and dissipates and what is actually doing is it's starving the engine because the engine is requiring so much cfm in in my opinion it was a very bad design but it does do what ford and international designed it and intended it to do was to limit suction noise to keep the noise down but obviously wasn't a good good idea uh, the only good thing about this is the fact that any bugs coming in would not hit your air cleaner filter and any water and dust would be diverted around to the dust and water blow off tube in the back but it's better to have this thing off have more power and maybe change the air cleaner more often than having it on and your whole engine being so gutless uh, i've tried it on and off and there's a big difference having it off and you basically will gain between six to ten horsepower uh, in the rear wheels when you have this restrictor plate off well thank you for watching and hope you have a good day bye for now